this is Julie Mize with Real TV Films. We're at the Comedy Shorts Film Festival. I'm here with Mark Hamill. How are you? I'm good. I'm excited to be here. This is the first Comedy Shorts. Yes, exactly. And I, the four of the uh, instrumental people behind it were in my movie, Comic Book the Movie. And it was a largely improvised you know, mock documentary down at the San Diego convention. Anthony Michael Williams was in it, and Tom Kenny was in it, and Jill Talley. And they're marvelous and wonderful performers. I really owe them a lot because I didn't have a lot of money to spend. And boy, they just delivered like uh, uh, you wouldn't believe. Uh, they were wonderful. So the best I could do is show up and support the Comedy Shorts Award. We need to laugh, Julie. I know, I, know. I know, I mean. is most important. I'm going crazy here. And I need to laugh, and now you can just make it at home and put it on the internet. You don't YouTube deal or studios, and that's so democratic. There's a lot of funny people out there that don't even necessarily want to have a career in show business all the time. There's funny dentists, and there's funny butchers, and you know, I, it really, it's uh, the, the amount of talent in this country. I'm looking forward to it because I'm ready to laugh. Me too, me too. So, what's coming up next for you? Well, they just, I, uh, I'm going to direct the movie version of my comic book, which is called The Black Pearl. It was published by Dark Horse. I'm not an actor in it. Uh, it's my second movie as a director, and I should be starting it this summer. It was optioned, but now it's trying to cobble together all the little bits and pieces. And uh, it's not been easy. But I'm tenacious. I'm like a dog with a chew toy. I just, Arr! I won't give it up until I get it done. The Black Pearl, and that'll come out either later this year or early next year. So I have to ask you, Adam Carolla is the host tonight. Do you feel do you feel like you're funnier than Adam Carolla? <laughs> My sons are huge Adam Carolla fans, and I know they think he's funnier than I am. But um, I have to tell you. Uh, it depends on where you go. I mean, like, this isn't really my crowd. I was around comic book fans the last weekend, and they knew more about me than me. You know, they said, you have Arkham Asylum coming out. I said, what's that again? You know, the game where you're the Joker. And I'm, oh, 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 because I've been doing it for a year and a half. These things, you know, there's like a, a session, then six months go by, and then there's another session. You forget about it, but it, I guess it's a big deal to them. Here, I'm in the comedy world, and I'm just a fan meeting people that I love on screen, like that Mindy Sterling yeah, yeah. from Austin Powers. She's a stitch. Okay, are we on? I'm John Leguizamo. And I loved her. I used to watch her at the Groundlings, but I'm a big comedy fan, and to tell you the truth, there's a lot of dark comedy in Black Pearl, but as a thriller, it has to be subversive. You don't sell it as a comedy any more than you'd sell Fargo as a comedy, but remember how many laughs there were in that? Or in Bonnie and Clyde, or in Dog Day Afternoon? It's ghastly. The stories of people getting killed, and these horrible things, and people still mess up like little kids, and bump heads, and do foolish things, and I'm telling you, that's the kind of comedy I love, that deadpan comedy, where you don't think they're trying to make you laugh at all. And that's what the Black Pearl is. I look forward to seeing it. Well, thank you, Mark. Enjoy your night. This is Julie with Real TV Films.